Okay, so this is a CAD pump and we're just going to explain uh, how to power this thing up. Um, most of these CAD pumps uh, have a power cord, but uh, typically the pharmacy does not send the CAD pump with a power cord. Instead, they provide a battery or a, a whole pack of batteries. And the way to set the battery in there is that you turn this thing to its side, you press the little white button, you remove the old battery and you put the new one in. Sometimes they will actually flip this battery over to uh, put it in there but not power on the unit. Uh, you know the unit, uh, the battery is connected the right way when you hear it beep. So that's the wrong way. That's the right way. Slide the door back in place. And it'll turn on and go through a, a power up uh, procedure. It'll beep loudly when it's done, just like that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is how to connect a cassette to this thing. There's only one way for it to go. There's two little hooks on the bottom of this cassette. And this cassette hooks on to these two little bars underneath. You press it in like that, and on the side there is a slot twist locking mechanism. Um, these cat pumps normally come with some kind of key or you can use a coin and you press it down and then you twist the coin and the locking mechanism until it stops and then it's locked in place. There is another hex key there. Um, generally the pharmacy does, uh, doesn't need you to lock this. Generally this is locked when patients are using uh, narcotic medications like Dilaudid. Uh, otherwise, they don't normally provide you with a key, and a patient would use something simple like a coin in order to lock and unlock this in between uh, dosages. In order to reprogram this uh, CAD pump, CAD pumps are not generally, typically they're sent in with the, the correct uh, programming settings, but sometimes they are not, especially if you have to um, change your uh, CAD pump if you have a backup or if they need to change it because the calibration uh, is out of date like this one would be typically out of date but this is just a demo machine so to look at the settings you would click on next and you could scroll through by continuously pressing next to see what your cassette settings are so it's your concentration your continuation uh, your rate your demand dosage the demand dosage lockout time, which is 10 minutes on this one, uh, max dosages per hour, and then the uh, data as to how many doses were given. For here, it'll tell you how to clear it just by pressing enter and it'll clear the dosage data. But what I need to show you is how to reprogram this thing. And the way that we do that is by first changing the lock level. In order to change the lock level, we press on lock. We switch the lock level to zero by pressing the down arrow and then we press lock again and then it'll ask you to enter a code. You put in the code, you click on lock again and it'll say lock level changing. And now, at every programmable data setting, it'll actually give you the options to change the lock level at the bottom. So concentration level, I can press the up and down arrows to change the concentration. I can change the continuation, uh, the continuous rate. Uh, I can change all, all, all of the settings. So before I would give this back to a patient with all the correct settings, I would change that lock level again back to one. You put in the correct code, you click on lock, and it says lock level changing, and now it's on one, and you can see that the, the data settings are no longer programmable. Okay, so 
Uh, Cat Pump uh, has several delivery modes, so you're not going to deliver TPN the same way you would deliver Dilaudid or that you would deliver uh, some kind of antibiotic. And in order to change that, we have to change the mode. First thing we have to do to change the mode is to change the lock level. So we're going to go back to our lock level and change it back to zero. Lock level is changed to zero. Now we press on options. Event log, communications, biomed toolbox, prime, delivery modes. Once you hit delivery modes, you hit enter. And then it'll ask you for another access code, which again, we can't tell you. So now the um, access code was put in and now it gives us access to the different modes. Right now it's currently in PCA mode and then continuous mode, TPN mode, intermittent mode, and then PCA mode again. So you would select your mode, click on enter, and it asks you if you want to place it into that mode. You click on yes, and then it says changing into mode, and it will go through a long process changing its mode, and it will reboot. Now it says pump is in PCA mode, no air detected. It's going to go through its automatic review process. And all the data settings are blank. So now that it's still in lock level zero, we can go through and change each data setting according to your medication order. Then after you make your medication order changes, you put it back in lock level 1. So it's changing to lock level 1. And then we're done. Okay, um, documentation of the items for the cat pump. Um, in your charting, you're supposed to include all the data settings and any data that's extracted from, from this in the settings. You also need to include the serial number and the calibration date. The serial number is typically on the back, and you can see this number here. Uh, this particular one is 780259, and it'll also have a calibration date. So there will be an orange or, or yellow sticker on there with a date that says next due date is by a certain time. So this, again, this is a demonstration uh, cat pump, and so this one is expired, but no patient should have a calibration uh, sticker on their pump that is expired. If it does, contact your infusion pharmacy immediately.